that's the sum from n is equal to zero to infinity uh, of the nth derivative uh, if estimated at zero, uh, sorry, estimated at a, this is just, a, this is the Taylor uh, expansion all over n factorial times x minus a raised to the power of n. And this is what's known as the Taylor, the Taylor series. So this is the Taylor, the Taylor series. Uh, what we're actually going to be interested in is the Taylor series estimated when a is equal to zero, okay? So when, when a equals zero, we end up with what's known as the Maclaurin series. So we end up with the Maclaurin, Maclaurin uh, series. So in this particular situation, we're going to have the Maclaurin series as effectively f of x uh, is equal to uh, the infinite summation from n is equal to zero to infinity of the nth derivative of our function uh, estimated at a, which a is equal to zero, uh, all over n factorial times x minus zero, which is just x times x to the power of n. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this here, this Maclaurin series, and we're going to apply it to the function uh, sine x to see what we get. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So let's now expand sine x out into this uh, this infinite summation. Okay, so let's just let's do that particular expansion. Let me just uh, cross this over here so that we still have our so that we still have our Maclaurin series uh, handy, and so that we can see actually what's going on there. So what we now have is actually let me just write write this down here. So we have our Maclaurin. So we have our Lauren series, and what we effectively have is that f of x is equal to the infinite summation from n is equal to zero to infinity uh, of the nth derivative of our function estimated as zero all over n factorial times x to the power of n. Uh, so we'd like to now find out what the Maclaurin series is associated with sine x, okay? So let, so let f of x equals sine x, and let's see what we, how, how we get on. So just keep in mind all of our derivatives that we've estimated, okay? So we've estimated all of our derivatives. Uh, so effectively what we're gonna have here is that this particular infinite expansion, uh, let's just actually list things out. I'm gonna list out a few of these, okay? Uh, so then we have, so therefore from, from this particular application, we're gonna have f of x is equal to, uh, well, n starts, so we're going to iterate through, and we'll just iterate through maybe, maybe let's say we'll iterate through just eight terms just to see what's actually happening, yeah? I mean, I'll have to do these a little bit smaller. So when n is equal to zero, we're going to estimate uh, f zero, estimate as zero, all over zero factorial times x to the zero. Plus, when n is equal to one, this becomes f one of zero, all over one factorial times x to the power of one. Plus, when n is equal to two, it becomes f2 of zero all over two factorial times x squared plus f3 of zero all over three factorial times x cubed plus f4 estimated as zero all over four factorial times x to the four plus f5 of zero all over five factorial times x to the five plus f6 of zero all over six factorial times x to the six plus f seven of zero all over seven factorial times x to the seven plus dot 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 this goes on forever in this particular fashion okay so let's see effectively what we have so this this therefore what we have here is this is based off based off let's say the identities okay that we constructed a moment ago okay uh, and we know what their what their values are uh, estimated at zero, so uh, the first, let's say, uh, f of x, f of x, estimated at zero is equal to zero, so the coefficient, so the function f zero of zero, f one of zero, f two of zero, f three of zero, f four of zero, f five, f six, f seven, are basically going to be this particular sequence of numbers, zero, one, zero, minus one, zero, one, zero, minus one, as we go through this particular, as we go through this particular expansion. Okay, so what we have then is that this, this therefore, what we have is that we have f of x, yeah, uh, <clears throat> is going to be equal to, well, this is going to be 0 over 0 factorial times times x to the 0, plus it's going to be 1 over 1 factorial times x, plus it's going to be <clears throat> 0 
So don't forget, it's zero, one, zero, minus one, okay? So F2 of zero, F2 of zero is equal to, this is equal to zero over two factorial times X squared. Minus, it's going to be one over three factorial X cubed. 